The Aero Club of Southern Tasmania has a fairly hefty social program known as our flight plan calendar. This morning a busload of club members seized the opportunity with a special invitation from the Aviation Rescue and Firefighting Services at Hobart International Airport to view a demonstration of their firefighting capability. A mock-up 737 was set alight with a simulated fuel fire. Not very pretty good, so we volunteered to postpone our training through the week and bring it to a Sydney job. A chance to look over a firefighting ground training facility, climb around inside and appreciate how difficult moving around in a smoke-filled fuselage can be. I can't have it too easy for them. The demonstration involved a fuel fire on a 737 aircraft. Fuel was laid around the fire ground and for more realism, fuel was pumped from the engine as in a fire with ruptured fuel lines or a fuel tank puncture. Once ignited, two fire tenders raced to extinguish the blaze. Fire Commander Phil McGowan assured us that once they have emptied the 12,000 litres of water and foam from the fire tenders, in under two minutes there wouldn't be any fire left. He was right, but it took under 15 seconds to knock down the fuel fire. Once the firefighters had the exterior safe, they moved onto the smoke food interior of the fuselage using breathing apparatus. The fire crew's aim from leaving the station to inside the fuselage is three and a half minutes. Four Aero Club members got to ride in the fire tenders back to the fire station and there were no shortage of takers. Meanwhile, the rest of the group looked over the two-story smokehouse, fire station and equipment and water rescue equipment as Hobart Airport approaches are over water. Then tucked into a morning tea of hot pastries, gourmet sandwiches and cakes. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, then it was time to say our thank yous, draw the raffle prizes and head off home. <laughs>